Welcome again to our children's prayer altar. Now, Coco Ben is going to show us this verse and I want all of us to declare this verse together. It's a very short verse, but it's very powerful. Okay, let's do this. John chapter 8, verse 36. So, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Now, I want you to read one more time, but this time, I want you to put in your name when you see the word you. Can you do that? Ready? One, two, go. So, if the sun sets, Auntie Julia free, Auntie Julia will be free indeed. Amen. Now children, look at this verse. There is one word that repeated two times. Can you spot the word? Can? You can type it in. Can you spot the word? Which is the word that repeated two times? Yes, yes, there are two words that are repeated two times, but this particular word is very powerful. Free. Yeah, free, 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 free. That's right, free. That's right. This verse is very powerful. That one word that's powerful is free. Today, this prayer altar, the theme is freedom. Wow, you ask me, freedom. What freedom is this? This freedom, it is not freedom to do anything you want. Not freedom to do crazy things and all that. But this freedom is from physical prison. Ayo, what is physical prison? Oh? Don't we feel like we're in prison a little bit with the lockdown, not able to go out? But you know what? God can give us freedom, this physical freedom to do many other things at home, like spending time with our family. Ah, if you never cook, you can go to the kitchen and help mommy, daddy. Oh. See, there are many things we can do with Jesus gave us this freedom and also emotional freedom. What is emotional freedom? Emotional freedom is freedom from feeling so fearful and lost. Like, oh, I'm not, not going to see my friend anymore. You feel really lost and worried. And also, spiritual prison. What is spiritual freedom? You know, sometimes when people hurt us, and then we keep this anger inside us. So unforgiveness, anger, and all this. So we want, ah, we want to have freedom in who? Now, do you know this freedom in this verse? There's only one person that can set us free. Do you know who? Can you type it in? Who can set us free? Okay, I'll give you a few minutes. Who what? can? Yes, that is right. Jesus, the Son. Yes, Jesus, the Son of God, can only set us free. But you ask me, Auntie Julia, how does Jesus set us free? How does Jesus set us free? Jesus set us free when He died on the cross for us. And you and I and all of us have the power when we believe in Jesus. When we read His Word, not just free, free only, but this freedom is so powerful. We can change everything in our atmosphere when we believe in Jesus and read His Word and apply it. And so today, we want Jesus to set all our homes and our families, daddy, mommy's life and our life free. So there are four prayer focus we're going to pray today. Gogo Ben is going to show us this four prayer focus. First, we want to pray for the presence of God. We really need the presence of God. And we want totally, this time is just so much fear. We really want to break this freedom from fear. Yeah, freedom from fear. And to have freedom in Jesus, we need to trust in Jesus. And we want God's blessing. Okay, so as we are one praying together, and also for those who are tuning in to YouTube with us, let's believe God will be in our midst. Because Matthew 18, 20 says, When two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Let's pray. Father Lord, we just want to thank you for this time that every children, every homes are coming together to be able to seek your face. And Lord, even as we come together, you are in our midst and you will hear our prayers. Father, we are only, uh, apart from you, we are truly nothing. So hear our prayer, hear our scripture reading because it is your word that will set us free. In Jesus' name, all God's children say, Amen! Alright, now I'm going to pass this time 
to show in, to declare a scripture. And we want to declare this together as well. Don't unmute, just really shout until your neighbor can hear you. Shout, ah, not scream, ah. shout loud, loud and declare the word of God in your family today. Show in. Let's go on. Isaiah 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captive and freedom to prisoners. I want, the, I want to pass the time to... Jeremy. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Shavin. So, children, as you all, what you hear from uh, Auntie Julia and even how uh, Shavin shared the Bible verse that today we want to declare that we are no longer uh, in prison. We are always, uh, when we are in the presence of God, we have freedom. Amen. Yes or not? Do you believe? Do you want freedom? If you want freedom from all your various situations, from freedom from your own mental stress la, like Auntie Julia said, physical stress okay. la. if you want, you just say I do I like, say Kaylee, Kaylee is, is the first to say <laughs> I do in the chat, can you all write now in the chat to say that, yes, me, right me, me, me yes, and all, yeah, go, go, go come on, so now's the time to to agree together, <laughs> use the chat to to be a blessing to each other okay, and remember it's not spamming to talk to your friends, yeah? it's, we, are, we can spam to say amen, we can spam to say that Jesus, I love you and all that kind of thing, alright Amen. Great, great. So today, as we are here, we're going to it's prayer day. At the same time, you know, prayer without prayer must come with worship together. So this is what we want to do. And I know all of you know this song as we want to invite uh, the Holy Spirit into our homes. Okay, in, wherever we are, if you are in your room, if you are in the living room, if you are in the kitchen, wherever you are, we want to invite uh, Holy Spirit into our homes. Amen. Do you all want the Holy Spirit to be with you right now? If that's you, you can raise up your hands. You can just say something in the chat right now. Amen, amen, amen. Come, let's just worship Jesus together with this song. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you in our homes. We welcome you, Lord, into our hearts, Lord Jesus. Would you just come and take your place today? Amen. So children, even as we sing, can I invite you, if you know the song, close your eyes. Okay, you can close your eyes. Uh, try not to walk around. I want all of us together to give the next 15 minutes of worship. We give a full attention to Jesus. Can we all do that? And if you know the song, like I say, close your eyes. Worship together. And if you want, you can stand as well. You can stand, just be comfortable because this is a church right now. We want to worship Jesus together. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I need your anointing, come in your power. I love you, Holy Spirit, you're captivating my soul. And every day, I grow to love you more. Let's sing one more time, come Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fall on me now. Let's all sing together. I need your anointing, come in your power. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul. And every day, I grow to love you more. I'm reaching for heart you hold my life in your hands drawing me closer to you i feel your power in you nothing compares to this place where i can see you face to face i worship you in spirit and in truth so this song is very easy if this is your first time hearing this song, let's try to worship together, right? Oh Jesus, come Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I need your anointing, come in your power. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul 
And every day I grow to love you more Sing it one more time Come Holy Spirit Fall on me now That's right Holy Spirit we invite you I need your anointing Come in your power I love you Holy Spirit You're captivating my soul And every day I grow to love you more I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your power in you Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth Let live our voice I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your power in you Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth Oh Jesus, we worship you Lord Children, if you're not to speak in tongues Don't speak in tongues right now If you do not know how to speak in tongues Just say thank you Jesus Say something nice about Jesus That you are wonderful You can even use the chat to just say something nice about Jesus Say Lord, Lord I love you, Jesus, I believe in you, anything to lift up the name of Jesus. Come, so let's spend one minute praising Jesus in your own words. Oh Jesus, hallelujah Lord, we worship you Lord, we praise your name, we praise your name Jesus, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we invite you, Lord Come and take your place, Jesus Oh, you are awesome, Lord Yes, Lord, you are a King You are Lord and Savior, Amen, Hallelujah We love you, Lord We sing to you, Lord Drawing me closer to you I feel your power renewed Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth Children, just raise your voice and sing again I'm reaching for your heart you hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your power in you Nothing compares to this place Where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth I worship you Spirit and in truth, I worship you, Lord. I worship you in spirit and in truth. That's right, Jesus. We worship you in spirit and in truth wherever we are, Lord Father. That because you are our Lord, no one else, you are our Abba Father. Amen. That's right, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me, all you've done for us today. Thank you, Kyla. Thank you. Amen. That's right, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you are our only God. Hallelujah. Let's continue worshiping Jesus. Jesus, you are my Lord. 
Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my Lord. You are all to me. And I say, Jesus, you are my God. Jesus, Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my Lord. You are Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, you are my Lord. If you know the actions to this song, you can do it as well. Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my Lord. You are all to me. And I say, Jesus, you are my God. You are my everything. Jesus, you are my everything. Jesus, you are my God. I give you my all. Children, let's just raise our hands if you want to stand up and sing. And I will worship. Just 
encourage you for the next 30 minutes 30 seconds sorry not 30 minutes 30 seconds let's just be silent before Jesus just be in his presence right now don't be let's not be distracted with whatever is happening around us if you have your mommy and daddy walking around behind you don't worry about that just focus on Jesus right now let's not be distracted 30 seconds let's just be in the presence of God just be quiet and close your eyes okay to be in your presence Lord Jesus there's nowhere else we want to be right now aside from just being in your presence thank you Jesus that in your presence there is freedom in your name there is freedom that only you can rescue only you can give us hope Lord Jesus thank you Lord even as we sing the next song in worship that Lord we pray that this will be our prayer unto you for all the children that only you can rescue us only you can save all of us in whatever situation we are in <clears throat> who oh Lord could save themselves their own soul could heal our shame was deeper than the sea your grace is deeper still one more time who o oh lord who o oh lord could save themselves their own soul could heal our shame was deeper than the sea your grace is deeper still you alone can rescue you alone can save you alone can lift us from the grave you came down to find us let us out of that you alone belongs the how yes praise that's right let's sing again who oh lord could save themselves their own soul could hear our shame was deeper see your grace is deeper still let's sing the second one you will not have made a way you oh lord have made a way the great divine you heal that's right for when our hearts were found One more time, you O oh Lord, you O oh Lord have made a way the great divine you heal that's right, Jesus. For when our hearts were far away, your love went further still. Yes, your love. Yes, your love goes further still You alone can rescue You alone can save You alone can lift us from the grave You came down to find us 
let us out of there To you alone belongs the highest praise One more time You alone can rescue You alone can save You alone can lift us from the grave You came down to find us Let us out of there alone belongs the highest praise to you alone belongs the highest praise to you alone belongs the highest praise that's right hallelujah only you alone belongs the highest praise children let's give jesus a big clap offering clap your hands as loud as you can wherever you are Thank Jesus that, woo, Jesus, only you can save us as long we are in your presence. Amen, 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 Jesus. Right now, I'm going to invite Auntie Julia to even just share what God is speaking to her at this period about what it means to be in the presence of God. All right, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for wonderful worship. Now, the first prayer focus presence of God. Now children, it is so important to have the presence of God. But can you tell me why do we need the presence of God? Or what is the presence of God? Let's start with what. What is the presence of God? Yeah, maybe you just take one or two seconds can put into the chat. What is the presence of God? Okay, I'm going to tell you what is the presence of God. Maybe for some of you, not too sure. Now the presence of God is guidance, direction, and His protection. Now you can say, well, we really don't need the presence of God. We, we can do that by ourselves. Do, are you sure we can? You see, why do we need the presence of God? We need the presence of God because we want to be under His covering. Yeah, when we have the presence of God, God guides us and He's ahead of us and we are sure because He is God of love and He loves us. He will guide us and direct us and we definitely need His protection. You don't want to make 20, 50, 100 mistakes to get it right. But when God talks to us, when we spend time with Him, we have His presence, we will do it right because God is for us. And also, to have the presence of God, we will actually have rest and peace. And when we have the presence of God in everything we do or wherever we are, we are able to help others who need strength. Especially this time in the pandemic, we really need the presence of God. Because remember just now uh, we shared that only Jesus can set us free. We are really in this moment of lockdown. Many things that many people are facing, maybe as children, you just maybe a little bit not able to go to school and maybe you're so tired with Zoom classes and all that. But there are many people out there are really suffering. And we really need to shine that light to them by really praying for them. And we need that presence of God. Okay, Ben Koko is going to show us this verse. I'm going to read this together. I'm going to share from this verse. Exodus 13, 21 to 22. The Lord showed them the way. During the day, he went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud. And during the night, the Lord was in a pillar of fire to give them light. They could travel during the day or night. The pillar of cloud was always with them during the day and the pillar of fire was always with them at night. When I was preparing for this prayer altar, the only one image that came to me was this pillar of cloud and the fire by night. Do you know how important when I read this, right, that the people, the Israelites came out of Egypt and they are in the wilderness. Imagine wilderness have nothing. When there's dark, they don't have torch light. But even if they have fire by themselves, they can light the fire in the woods. Where will they go? Do they go right? Do they go left? Do they go straight? You see, God loves us so much. He wants us to belong and dwell in His presence. So this particular verse shows us that He came as a pillar of cloud because then He moved ahead of them. Then the Israelites could move. If God don't go ahead of us, we can't go. So even in this period of time, we may feel very stuck. But actually, when the Lord moves and He will guide us, we will only know and have hope in His presence. And also during at night when we sleep, God is at work. He's protecting us. He's fighting for us. He will command His angels to guard over us. 
So children, remember this season, we really need to pray to have presence of God in our family. Come, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we invite your presence to fill every home, every family, every life represented here. In this pandemic time, we need your presence even more. We pray, Lord, that you will go ahead of every family in a pillar of cloud, though we can't see, but we want you to go ahead of us and guide every family in all areas of our life, be in our jobs, in our school, health and financial. We pray that your wisdom is upon every family to make a decision that is guided and pleasing you. Also, Lord, we want to pray for your pillar of fire to shine the light in every home so that everywhere each family member goes out and put our legs and hands into, your presence will be there to keep every family away from harm and danger and away from coronavirus. Even when every family sleeps at night, you will command your angels to charge and protect us. Help us, Lord, to preserve good and loving relationship and guard every home so that we will have a peaceful and united atmosphere. Let your glory fill every home so that we can be good testimonies to others. Let your presence come, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now I'm going to pass the time to Evan to read a scripture. Hello everybody, I'm Eva. I'm going to pray. Psalms 91 verses 1 to 2. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalms 91 verses 1 to 2 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I'm going to invite Coco Alex to pray. It's okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for all of us. Because of that, the curtains in the temple were torn into two. And because of this, the barrier between you and us has been removed. Now we can come to you in prayer wherever we are. And we can be in your holy presence. Your presence is so beautiful and peaceful. It is like being in heaven. Father God, please forgive us for all of our sins. We want to be holy so that we can be in your presence all the time. Thank you, Lord, for being with us throughout this time, for bringing our families closer to you and to each other during the pandemic, for protecting us, for for providing for our needs and for seeing us safe from COVID-19. Even though we are stuck at home, you have blessed us with the internet connection to stay connected to the world and to study online. We thank you, Jesus, for everything we thank. Thank you for loving us, for being with us all the time especially when we are lonely. You are the, there with us and that we can call your mighty name and you are there watching all over us in all that we do. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' most precious name, we pray. Amen. Now I'd like to invite my friend Jada. Exodus. 33 verse 14 And he said, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Now I should pass the time to you. As we get there to pray. Hello everyone, my name is Ashley. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you. Lord Jesus, we adore you. We want more of you in our lives at the center of everything that we do. 
We don't want to pray only before we eat and before we sleep. But we want to also learn how to pray for your people and for the people who are in need, for those people that don't know you and those people who need to know you again. We also pray that we will not be, become lazy, but we will continue to want to get closer to you. And I pray that all of us here today make more time to spend with you, to worship you, to talk to you, to pray to you, to attend church and to be a good Christian, brothers and sisters, each other. We pray that your holy uh, presence will comfort and heal all the people who are sick with COVID. Lord Jesus, please heal them from the virus and also protect them from any other illness and diseases. Also for the frontliners who are working so hard to bring down the numbers. Lord Jesus, I pray that your presence will give them supernatural strength to be able to fight the virus so that Malaysia will be free from COVID. Lord Jesus, I ask for your mercy and grace upon this land. I ask for your love and protection to be upon this country with commit Malaysia into your loving hands. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Now, I would like to invite Uncle Kim Soon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ashley, for a beautiful prayer. Thank you for all the prayers. That's right. Even at this time, even as we come together, we want to thank you, thank our Lord that He has given us this wonderful time to praise Him and to worship Him and to pray, come together to pray. Even at this season, we all know, you know, there's so much of, a, of, of anxiety, fear outside there. A lot of news that we hear, wow, you know. But always remember, even as you have heard uh, Auntie Julia say, Lord, the presence of God is here to be with us, to guide us, to help us, to give us His comfort and His peace. And I want to just remind all of us in the Word of God, in 1 John chapter 4, it says here, God is love. God is love. And there's no fear in love. And perfect love dries up all fear. Hallelujah. Even as we now want to worship Him, declare this loudly in your own place, in your home, and say, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Declare, that's right, declare loudly to the Lord. I'm no longer a slave to fear. That's right, no more slave to fear. I am a child of God. God is our master. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song. Deliverance from my enemies till long my fears are gone. That's right, declare all together. I'm no longer a slave to fear.
sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. Thank you, Jesus. You rescued me and I will stand and sing. I had a child of God. One more time. You split. That's right. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me and I will stand and say, I am a child of God. Let's try right, singing to Jesus. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me and I will stand and sing. Because we have Jesus, for I am a child of God. Declare to God one more time. I'm no longer a slave to fear, for I am a child of God. Yes, we are, for I am a child. Thank you, Uncle Kim Soon, you, for Jesus. that powerful worship. That's right, children. Indeed, we are no longer to fear. Remember, we are no longer to fear because we are a child of God. So now I just was going to share with you prayer point number two. That is freedom from fear. That's right. Freedom from fear. I'm sure, children, you all know what is fear, right? Fear is something that you are afraid of, you are frightened. Now, I know in this pandemic, you know, everybody out there is so fearful to go out. Even Auntie Sukha is also very fearful to go out because we know that out there, there is so much of viruses out there. You know, we don't want to go out there and then get the virus and get all sick and be in the hospital. You know, I'm sure your mommy is also, mommy and daddy is also very fearful to let you all go out and play with your friends, right? You know that, right? And then, you know, your mommy don't want you to go out and, 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 and meet your friends, you know, because of the virus out there. So, what do we do? Okay, let's, let's, you remember the story of Daniel and the lions then? How God set Daniel free from fear of the lions? Remember when he was put into the lions den? Was he afraid? No, he wasn't afraid. Why? Because... Daniel is a faithful man to God. He reads the word of God every day. And he prays to God how many times a day? Three times a day. Remember, he prayed to God three times a day. So when the king put him into the lion's den, remember, he was not afraid because God is with him. And not only God is with him, God sent the angel to close the lion's mouth so that the lion cannot eat 
Daniel or, or scratch Daniel's body, okay? So you know the next day when Daniel come out, his body was totally okay, no scratches and nothing from the lions. So God set Daniel free from fear, remember? And God is with him because Daniel always prays to God and Daniel always read God's word. So like Daniel, let us go to the word of God. And let us look at Isaiah 43. Okay, Ben Koko already put it on the screen. For those who got Bible, you can turn with Auntie Sugwat, Isaiah 43. But before you do that, where can you find the word of God? That's right. That's right, the Bible. B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. That's right. God gave us his word in the Bible. So we can go to God and, and, and read his word and see what he says in the Bible, right? Let's go uh, to Isaiah 43 and follow along as I read Isaiah 43 verse 1. Now this is what the Lord says. Who says this? Lord Jesus says this, yeah? The Lord's word is the God who says this. He created new people of Jacob. He formed you, people of Israel. He says, who says? Jesus says. What did he say? Listen carefully. Don't be afraid. That's right. God's word says that we don't be afraid. Why? Because I have saved you. I have called you by name. And you are mine. Read, I read that again one more time. Yeah, The last line. Listen carefully, yeah, what Jesus said to us in his word, yeah? He says, what? Don't be afraid. That's right, put in the chat what you have heard from the word of the Lord. Don't be afraid because I have saved you, I have called you by name, and you are mine. Wow, children, can you imagine? The word of God says, we are so precious and so uh, uh, important to God that He calls us by our name. God calls you, you, you and me by name. And not only He calls us by name, He said, we belong to Him. We are His. He says here, you are mine. Listen to that. You are mine. So we belong to God. God calls you, Tong Hang, you are my child. God calls you, Sherman, you are my child. God calls me, Auntie Siu Guan, you are my child. Wow, we are so important children. Remember, God's word says that we are all God's children. And as God's children, what did God say? We do not be afraid. So every time when you are afraid, what do we do? We go to God, we read God's word, and we pray to God like Daniel did. Yeah, And we know God that the word of God says that he will be with us and he will take away our fear and we do not have to be fearful anymore like what uncle kim soon just now sang the song says that we are no longer slave to fear that's right god set us free from fear okay so let's close our eyes and look to god in prayer and ask god to set us free from all the fears that we have right now during this pandemic yeah father god we just want to thank you and praise you that indeed you are a good good god to us lord we thank you for all the things that you have done for us here today and we want to thank you thank you for your word today reminding us god that we are important to you because you called us by name you call each one of us out by our names and and we belong to you you make us all your children and we are so privileged lord that we can call you abba father that we your children can call you abba father who is our heavenly father Lord, we want to thank you and praise you. As children of God, your word says in Psalms 23, 4, thank that, that we will not be afraid because you are with us. Like you are, you, you have been with Daniel as well, Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you. We just want to praise you, God. Indeed, Lord, that you did not give us the spirit of fear, but spirit of love, spirit of power, and spirit of self-control for us, Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you and we just want to praise you that you will continuously fill us also with your Holy Spirit, Lord, so that your Holy Spirit will lead us and, and, and to walk in your ways, O oh Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you and praise you, God, that you are indeed so gracious to us and so faithful to us, Lord. 
right now, Lord, I also want to pray for those, especially for those who are in fear, those who are afraid. God, your word says that as a child of God, that they do not have to fear God. So I pray, God, that when they have fears, when they are afraid, God, that you will heal their heart, heal their mind and heal their spirit, O oh Lord, from all these fears that make them and make them confident and secure in you as your word says that you will be with them when they pray. Lord, I just thank you and I just praise you, Father God. Lord, that we will also, you will also cause us, O oh Lord, to walk in your peace. In your peace and your joy will continuously give us the strength that we needed, O oh Lord. So Father, we just want to thank you and worship you. And may your continuously blessings be upon all of us and all our families here today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. So now I would like to invite our friend, Tong Hang, to read another verse from the Bible for us. Thank you, Auntie Sugua. Romans 8, verse 14 to 15. The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. The Spirit that we receive is not a spirit that makes us slave again to fear. The spirit that we have makes us children of God. Dear Father God, you are our good, good Father. Father God, you are the mighty God who will always be there to help us, heal us, save us, bless us, protect us, forgive us, love us, give us hope and always provide all our needs. Thank you, God, that we who put our hope in you will not be disappointed. Thank you, Father God, for everything. We love you always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I would like to invite my friend A.B. to pray. Thank you. children in the world. I know that most of the children in the world are afraid about the virus. I am also scared, but I pray that you will protect them with your Holy Spirit and give them peace. Amen. Now I would like to invite my friend back. Thank you, thank you, Natalie. Wow, all your prayers uh, are so powerful. Do you all notice that? How many of you agree that all your friends' prayers and even reading of the scripture is so powerful? Isn't that true? So you see, friends, being a child of God doesn't mean that just because you are young or you are small, your age is very young, it, show, it, it, it doesn't mean that your prayers are not powerful, that only uh, adults, only Auntie Julia, only Uncle Kim Soon, only Pastor Chiu's prayer are very powerful. No, all of your prayers are powerful because all of you are children of God. And that same Holy Spirit that is in Pastor Chiu, Auntie Julia, Pastor Lee, all these people is in you as well. So today, I want to encourage all of you, don't be afraid to open your mouth to pray. So even as uh, we, 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 we learn that, you know, we being in the presence of God, we have freedom from fear and that we also need to learn to trust in jesus as we in be as we are in his presence so today i would like all of you to do this okay before we even continue worshiping i want you all to think of someone right now that you can pray for 
okay whoever it is it could be your mommy your daddy your friend your neighbor anyone that you feel they need some sort of prayer maybe because they are going through something in their life uh, that they feel maybe very sad or anything that you just feel like praying for them can i invite all of you right now you don't have to unmute your mic or anything think of a friend that you can pray for or a family member and i want you to pray for them right now okay can you all do that pray for someone anyone so uh, for one minute i give you about two minutes okay two minutes think of that person i'm just going to play some music and then pray for that person uh, with your chair chair or whoever you can hold each other's hand anything you want okay hallelujah hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus finish praying for one friend or family you can always pray for another person let's take this time one more minute one more minute pray for someone by all your children and your buddies lord jesus we lift up our prayers to you lord you are our savior you are our, our redeemer that lord there is no fear in you we pray that all these names all these people that we've been praying praying for lord father lord you will give them hope lord you will give them peace that lord they, if they do not know you i pray they will get to know you lord even right now wherever they are somehow holy spirit would you just create an opening that they will be able to know who you are and hear your voice for maybe the very first time thank you jesus come children let's continue worshiping let's just say that jesus you are a beautiful savior you are our wonderful king you are our majesty you are our risen king Savior, God of all majesty, is a king, Lamb of God, holy and righteous, blessed redeemer. Sing one more time, Jesus. Jesus, beautiful Savior, God of all majesty, be is a King, Lamb of God, holy and righteous. Redeemer, bright morning star. 
now, can I invite you to just stand up? Stand up, raise up your hands. This is going to be the song that we're going to sing right now to Jesus. Everyone just stand up, raise up your hands high because you are singing to the King of Kings. You are singing to that beautiful King that loves all of us. Can we all do that? Can we all do that? Let's just sing as loud as you can. Let's go. Jesus, beautiful Savior, God of all Pastor Jeremy for the beautiful worship. Now children, we are going to uh, go into prayer point number three, that is trust in Jesus. Okay, the Bible has many verses that tell us to trust in Jesus in all situations. And do you know that when we put our faith and our trust in Jesus, 
Jesus will return that trust and he will guide us, give us strength to overcome whatever situation we are in, remove all fear from us and he will protect us. I know it's hard to trust Jesus in this COVID situation we are in now, uh, that everything we do has to be uh, online and we might also be asking, uh, when can I go out to pray with my friend? Uh, when can I go back to church and when can I visit my grandparents? There's so many things we want to do but we can't and we cannot. But remember children, in all situations they are in now, continue to trust in Jesus because Jesus loves you. And Jesus will never abandon you and no matter what happens, He will be by your side. Now children, uh, some of you might remember that story uh, uh, in the Bible about this guy named Job. Uh, if you can't remember, let me refresh and uh, let you know, uh, okay? Uh, uh, Job loved God and God blessed him and he was a very wealthy man. Then one day, Job lost his children and he lost all his possession. Possession means all his, uh, be all his wealth, everything he has gone. And he was so sad. But his good friend came and uh, comforted him and told him that you should not trust God anymore because God has took everything away from him, from, from you. And they told him not to trust and believe God, but Job did not. Job con did not listen to his friend. And he continued to trust and he believed in God. And the story ends with Job receiving his wealth back more than he has before and having another 10 children and he lived for another 140 years. Can you imagine if God can do that for Job, He can also do that for us. So don't give up hope. Continue to trust in Jesus and have faith in Him. So children, when you trust in Jesus and have a relationship with Jesus, Jesus will never let you down. So children, let's close our eyes and I'll pray a short prayer for all of you. Yeah. Father God, help us to trust in you in all situations. And during this time of pandemic, may you give us strength and increase our faith in you and remove all fear from us, Lord. We thank you for your grace and mercy upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I pray. And all children say, Amen. Now I want to invite uh, Audrey to declare the next scripture verse. Uh, Psalms 28, verse 7 to 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. I trust Him and He helps me. I am very happy and I praise Him with my song. The Lord is powerful. He gives power and victory to His chosen one. Now I would like to invite Gwenelle to pray for us. My name is Gwenelle. Let's pray with me. Father God, thank you for being a great, great God. We know we can trust you with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and with all our strength. Because Jesus loves you and me. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whenever we feel sad, lonely, or worried, we know we can trust you, Jesus, to be our friend and talk to you through our prayers. We can rest in Jesus and let go all our worries. The Bible says in Psalm 56 verse 3, When I am a friend, I will trust in you. I praise God for His word. I trust God, so I'm not afraid. Lord Jesus, let us not be afraid and discouraged because you know all our needs and you will take care of them. Lord, we know you will answer us in your timing. We can put our trust in you, Lord, because you will never leave us, nor forsake us. You are our faithful God. 
Help us, Lord, to spend time with you, reading the Bible and praying more. Draw us closer to you every day so we can cling into your promises to know that you will still come and save us in troubled times because we are precious to you. Lord, teach us to be still knowing that you are protecting us from this pandemic by staying safe at home. May you give us your confidence, guidance, and direction in all that we do. We know you have good things in store in our lives. We want to trust in you with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding, but build our faith in you no matter what we are facing now. May we continue to learn new things and help us do well in our studies. Thank you, Father God, for reminding us that every day is your every day is a miracle. We know you are trustworthy and nothing is impossible with you. Lord, we want to commit all the children and family here into your loving hands. That you will keep us safe and healthy throughout this time. In Jesus' marvelous name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Now, I want to invite Zoe Chacha to read for us. Thank you, Gunnar. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought, and never fails to bear fruit. Lord, I thank you that we have a chance to trust in you. I thank you that you are here for us. I ask for your protection upon each and every one of us from the virus, for you know the plans you have for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. Please help us to remain faithful towards you, especially during this time. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And now I would like to invite my friend Sherman to pray for us. Let us pray together. Abba Father, we praise you for you are our Jehovah and faithful God. Lord, take authority over this present crisis that your children may live after your blessing. Psalm 138, verse 7 to 8. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my force. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord, you vindicate me. The Lord, your Lord, your love, Lord, and yours forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Lord, we trust you with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. Father, we do not worry about tomorrow because you say in Matthew 6, verse 25, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear, not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not store or rip or steal or throw away in advance. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not are you not much more vulnerable than and they, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who confident is in Him. In Jesus' most precious name, I pray. Amen. Now, now, I, I, I want to invite Jimmy Koko to say something. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you, Sherman. That was a wonderful prayer. You know what? There's actually 108 people in this group today. You know, God is here. God is definitely here. And I really want to take this time to share something personal with you. 
this is a very personal word that God has given me when I was 12 years old. That was the time when I decided to really, you know what, do I need to follow God or not? So this word sounds like this in Exodus chapter 20 verse 24. An altar on earth you shall make for me, and you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. This is what God shared with me. That was when I was 12 years old. And Abigail, what is Papa's, Papa's age now? 42 or 43. I'm 42 years old now. It's basically 30 years. This verse has stick with me for 30 years. And God has been very faithful. And if you look at the last sentence of this verse, it says, I will come to you and I will bless you. You know, as long as you make a commitment with the Lord, just like what you did today, you know, all of you participated in this prayer altar, God will definitely be here and God will bless you. And I want to remind ourselves, right, that as we make this commitment, God is always faithful. God has blessed me with many things in these 30 years. Even though in this pandemic situation, right, I'm always uh, grateful because every day, I still, I'm still able to work. I'm still able to provide food for my family. Similarly, these are the small, small things, right, that God has given us that sometimes we take for granted. And these are the blessings God has given us. And I really want to really take this time, maybe spend one minute and put in a chat group, right, one, one thing that you thank God for, one thing that you think God has blessed you with. Say something in the chat group and give glory to God. Take this one minute. Sam, Sam did just say, thank God for the family. Thank God for my children. Wow. Thank God for providing for us. We have a place to stay. Wow. You see, there are many things that we can thank God for, but sometimes we need to reflect. We need to think about it and realize that, you know what, God is here. Similarly, God is here now. It's a good time to really honor God and give glory to God, knowing that God has blessed me with so many things. And now I want to serve. I want to share this, I want to spend this time with you and ask Auntie Janet to share a bit more about blessing. Auntie Janet, over to you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 16 to 17. Now, may our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God our Father, who loved us and by His grace give us internal comfort and wonderful hope, comfort you, strengthen you, in every good things you do and say yes lord thank you father thank you lord jesus for this wonderful kids that you have bring into our midst lord we pray father lord that you will bless the word of their hand and also father lord god but whenever they read your words father lord god whatever they say father lord god when they read your words father they will proclaim it with convictions, Father Lord God, with power and authority from above, Father Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have loved them, you strengthen them, Lord God, as they're adjusting to adapt to the new normal due to the lockdown that caused by COVID-19 pandemic, Father Lord. I pray that you bless them with attentive spirit, that their eyes and their ears will be open to the work of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Bless them with a sound mind, empower them to constantly listen to instruction, think clearly, speak wisely, study with great understanding from above. May they have the wisdom of Solomon, the heart of David, and the perseverance of Joseph. And above all, Lord Jesus, bless them with the mind of Christ. Instill within their heart the desire to pray, to read your word, and your word is the Lamb, that guide their feet and the light for their path. Father God, as your son Jesus grow in wisdom and set you in favor with God and man, may these children do likewise. Bless them, Lord God, with your favor. Not only with your favor, Lord God, you bless them with the favor from friends and adults that you have appointed over them, Lord. Lord last and not least, Father Lord, I just pray that you bless the family that represented by each uh, one of them in this prayer altar, Father Lord God. May you put a hedge of protection over them. 
bless them with your love and your peace, Lord God, even as they set up the prayer altar uh, to worship you in spirit and in truth, Father Lord. I pray, Lord, that you fill their home, Lord God, with your presence, with your love, and with your uh, Holy Spirit, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. And all God's children say, Amen. I'll pass this time to Dingy Dede to pray and to read the Word of God. Okay, I will read on Deuteronomy 23, verse 5 and 6. But the Lord your God would not listen to Balaam, he turned the curse into a blessing for you. The Lord your God loved you. Don't reach for their peace or success as long as you live. Amen. Thank you, Lord Father God. Yes, O Lord God, you reign. You are above all things, and by you, O Lord, all things are held together. Lord. Nothing is impossible for you, for you, O Lord. God, Lord, please align, realign our hearts, O Lord. We align our children's hearts, O Lord, with your truth, O Lord. Because you, O Lord, your words is true. Renew our mind, renew our children's mind, O Lord. And transform up our will, O Lord. You, your ways, O Lord, that is always the best way, O God, Father Lord. You, you are always have the best way for us, O God. As you have promised, O Lord, that you will turn the curse into a blessing for us, O God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are you are love, O Lord. You love us so much, O God. Yes, O Lord, that you have promised and you have said, O Lord, that you are our shepherd, O God, that we have we we have everything we need, O Lord. Yes, O Lord, that you will give us a rest, O Lord, and you lead us to to a clean water, O God. Yes, O God, that you say that you 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 give us a new strength, O Lord. Thank you, O Lord, Father Lord, you lead us always, you lead us, O Lord, that even though, O Lord, Father Lord, we can by faith, O Lord, to proclaim, Lord, to say that even though that we walk through the darkest valley, O Lord, that we will we are no evil, God. Father, but because, O Lord, that by faith we will say that you are with us, O God. You are with us, O Lord, and your Lord and your staff will comfort us, O Lord. That you prepare a meal for us, O God, in front of our enemies, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father Lord. Thank you for your blessing, Thank you, Lord, Father Lord. Give us more than we, we can hold. Surely, O oh God, that Lord, we can proclaim, we can say that you are good, O oh Lord. Your goodness and your love will always be with us, O oh Lord. Thank you, o Lord, Father Lord, and we will live in the house of the Lord forever, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen. I, I would like to pass this time to Stephanie Gazette. from um, Joshua 1 verse 9 it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go so Lord Jesus thank you Lord um, that we can gather together today Lord to even pray together Lord and um, just pray Lord that even right now Lord even for every single children here and everybody's here Lord we pray Lord that you in your word is has said, Lord, that we do not have the spirit of fear with us, Lord. So we pray, God, that you will be all fear in us, God. And we pray, Lord, that you will just give us the courage and the ability, Lord, to trust and know that you are a good God, Lord, that whatever we do, Lord, And I pray, Lord Jesus, truly, Lord, that you will come, Lord, and, and help us, Lord, and put our faith in you, Lord, knowing, Lord, that whatever situation we may face, Lord, that you will Help us and you will bring us out, Lord, of this uh, pandemic situation. We pray for every single child, Lord, that even as they may have struggled in their in their studies, Lord, that you will give them the peace, Lord, and give them the the, the guidance, Lord, in even doing, in doing well, Lord, even in their studies, Lord. So we pray, Lord, that even, Lord, in this period, Lord, we speak, Lord, for courage upon every single one of us here, Lord, that no fear shall... Um, take over us Lord and that we will not be afraid of anything because of you because you have given us the courage and the ability Lord to, to go out and fight Lord so thank you Lord for the spirit of glory Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. and 
now I pass the word the time to cement that job. Thank you, Stephanie Tete. Okay. So reading from Isaiah 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and freedom to the prisoners. Father God, I just want to thank you, God, for every child that is represented here, Lord God. God, even as your spirit is upon them, Lord God, God, I pray first and foremost, you heal their broken heart. You, uh, you let them experience your freedom from, uh, from being in prison, Lord God. So God, I just want to commit every child here into your hands and, and say that they are no longer uh, captives, they are no longer prisoners, Lord God, because God, you have given them freedom you have granted them liberty lord god so god even as they experience this joy this freedom that you have given them lord god that god they are able to also send uh send out their spirit and also proclaim it to the people around them so god i just want to thank you for every child here as they know your truth and you said it in your word those who know the truth and the truth will set them free so every child here is free indeed that they are free from fear they're free from any persecution they're free from darkness instead they are living a life of blessing they're living a life filled with your presence where your presence guide them where your presence give them joy love and uh, blessings that they can bless the people around them as well, Lord God. So God, I just thank you, God, that you are the God that loves them so much. You are God that cares for them so much. So, and that every day that they will experience your freedom, that they will wake up and know that they can call upon the name of God and trust in you and know that everything that they do, you are looking out for them, Lord God. So thank you, God, for uh, today, so I pray that you continue to bless us, continue to be with us, and let your presence be in each and every one of our household, Lord God. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, even as we uh, close, uh, I'll pass the time to Pastor Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wow, children, one and a half hours. All of you, all of you actually stayed back for one and a half hours to pray and even to receive the final blessing that all the buddies prayed for you. Now, well done, give yourself a big clap for giving Jesus that one and a half hours of focused attention. Jesus is very happy with all of you right now. Yay, wonderful. So just be, as we end, remember, as what we all shared just now, at the end of the day, whatever we have said and shared, if we want freedom in Christ, what is the most important thing? We must be in the presence of Jesus. All right, always remember that today you did one and a half hours but this one and a half hours in a sense ends today tomorrow is a brand new day how long do you want to spend with jesus five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes one hour that is up to you but you must spend time with jesus okay today just because we spend one and a half hours today it doesn't mean okay for the next uh three to four days i don't need to spend time with jesus anymore lah. it doesn't work that way okay every day is a new day and we all know this period it is not an easy period right maybe for your mommy and daddy they are very stressed up with their work and all that you should be the blessing at home okay bring that blessing bring that light bring that joy into the family by spending time with god and god will show you what to do for your family so finally let me just pray for all of you everyone uh, uh, put your hands up to receive this final prayer and blessing for all of you even as we go home i mean not go home as we call it a day today thank you lord jesus for a wonderful day that we can just be in your wonderful presence today that lord as you said with you there is freedom with you there is love there is joy there is peace there's patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control it all comes from you lord jesus help us lord father as we remember to spend time with you every day and the lord jesus i pray for every single person today as we depart from uh, this Zoom session, that Lord, your presence will be with them, your peace will be with them, that your faith will turn towards them to give them the blessings that you have set before them. Give us your mercy, and Lord Jesus, I thank you. Keep us safe as we continue to honor you every single day, every single time. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone say, Amen. Amen. Okay. 
we are not done yet we are done with the prayer but we got some special announcement for all of you okay so just to remember what is going to happen so i'm going to talk, invite auntie julia okay auntie julia we're going to invite you on screen as well so both of us are being spotlighted so ben coco we can play a more uh, happy upbeat music right now because right now we're going to give you some uh, 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 announcement of what's happening next week so auntie julia do you remember throughout this whole a few months we have been in one of the series what series was that uh, in our thoughts children ministry lesson what is the series fruit of the spirit exactly fruit of the spirit so huh uh, do we still have any more fruit of the spirit or not auntie julia or finish already yeah. hmm. finish already Oh really? Yeah. Uh? Wow, Sarah, you know, finished already. Ah, exactly. We have finished the fruit of the spirit series. And how many uh, parts are there? Yeah. Do, 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 do. How many? Nine. Nine. Oh. Wow, Sarah. Next time you can teach already. You are so good. So yes, there are nine parts of the fruit of the spirit. And I want to applaud and clap all of you who managed to finish the whole series with us. So just because we finish that series, does it mean Auntie Julia or Sarah? Just because we finish that series, does it mean next week no more uh, lesson already? We finish close shop, is no, it? No. Say no. 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 Ha, do we still have our weekly lesson? Yes. Say yes. 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 Exactly. So now I'm going to ask Sarah. You ask your mummy. Ah, next week ah, when we start our lesson ah, what series are we going in? Is it a new a new topic or the same topic? Ask your mummy. What is the topic next week? Godly character. Ah, if you all didn't hear it, it is godly characters. Exactly. Yes, we're going to launch a new series starting next week. It's about godly mm-hmm. characters, and we're going to learn from it's two very important agents in the Bible. And who are these two agents? Okay, throughout a few months, we're just going to learn about two of them only. Who is that, Auntie Julia or or uh, uh, Sarah? Do you know this one, or is it a secret? It's a secret. It's a oh. secret. The secret, exactly. So we won't tell you. Or then, if you want to know, they might join next week, lor. Is it? Oh, they're not moving anymore. Yes. So it's a secret. So according to Auntie Julia and Sarah, Sarah is our secret spy. Shh! Don't tell anyone. Okay. That next week we're going to have a special series, and we won't tell Can you. Cannot tell. Cannot tell. Exactly. Good. High five. High five. Yes. Yep. Okay. So next week you join us for our weekly lesson, and then you will know. Who are these two big agents that we are learning about in the Bible? Okay, so when do we start? It's on Saturday at 5 p.m. Okay, at 5 p.m. Go to our YouTube channel. Yes, 5 p.m. And then let me ask you one final thing, Sarah. Before Sarah? 5 p.m., 4:30 p.m. on Saturday. Do you know what is happening? Canal room. Ah, uh, what room? Can you say again? Say again. Canal room. Yes, connect room. Do you remember what we do in connect room? Hmm. Hmm? Play games. Play games. Yes, play games. Some more. What else? What else? Pray. You know. Pray. Pray. Exactly. Some more. Who else? Who else have joined? Okay. So now. We learn about gonna... today's lesson. We learn about today's lesson as well. I'm going to ask another person as well. Let me see. Ah, uh, is this person here? I'm going to ask Jen Hao. Are you here? Jen Hao is always in our connect room one. Jen Hao, are you here? Can you tell us what we do in? Yes, Jen Hao is here. See, he's my good friend. So, Jen Hao, can you tell us normally what do we do in Connect Room? You can unmute yourself also if you can. Jen Hao? Jen Hao? Have you disappeared? Hey, Jen Hao, where you go? Okay, so he wrote down praying, playing games, and also we learned about the lesson for that day. So, we want to invite all of you, if you have not joined our Connect Room, starting next week at 4.30 p.m., to 5 o'clock it's just a short period we want to invite all of you to come so that we get to connect with you to get to know you better and also we're going to spend time playing games we're going to worship together and we're going to pray for each other as well in that half an hour then once we finish that one you uh, you will go into our youtube uh, and watch the lesson for the weekend okay so that's uh, auntie julia is that all the announcement that we have for them yes say yes 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 okay very good so i hope all of you had a wonderful time today just being in the presence of god remember tomorrow is a new day continue to spend time with god so with that all of us from the children ministry of sibkl we want to say thank you and bye bye and all of you bye bye
Bye bye. 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 Bye b